Here we are again, another week, another proposed rule to massively expand the EPA's power and another attempt by this administration to stomp out America's coal industry. That's exactly what the Clean Power Plan is, a miscalculated regulation aimed at keeping coal in the ground at any cost. This is actually not one rule, but three separate rules, which taken together would be more aptly named the No Power Plan. The Clean Power Plan includes a final rule to revise carbon pollution standards for new, modified, and reconstructed power plants. A final rule to revise carbon pollution standards for existing power plants. And thirdly, a federal plan for enactment enforcement of the other two rules. Simple? Right? No. Wyoming is the largest coal-producing state in the nation. Wyoming produces 40% of the nation's coal, and coal represents almost 40% of the electricity generated in this country. It's abundant, it's affordable, it's clean, and most importantly, it's stockpileable. If the power plants that produce energy from fossil fuels, like coal, are forced to shutter their doors to make dramatic structural changes, it'll have tangible negative impacts on fossil fuel consumers. If that doesn't alarm you, it should, because according to the National Mining Association, every person in America uses 20 pounds of coal a day. We've got to be more innovative in what we're doing instead of just trying to put businesses out of business because we don't like the business. 